could you have a condition called gastroparesis? Also known as delayed gastric emptying, gastroparesis causes food to sit in the stomach for too long. This can lead to troublesome symptoms, such as nausea, vomiting, and pain. Though anyone can have gastroparesis, one of the main causes is diabetes. In fact, gastroparesis develops in one-third of people with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Let's learn more about diabetic gastroparesis and why it might occur. Digestion is the process the body uses to break down food, so nutrients and energy can be absorbed. When food is swallowed, it travels down the esophagus into the stomach. The stomach muscles churn food to break it into smaller pieces. The muscles then squeeze to move the food into the small intestine. From there, food is fully digested and the body absorbs what it needs. With gastroparesis, this process doesn't work the way it should. Stomach muscles contract too slowly, too weakly, or not at all. As a result, food sits in the stomach for too long. This leads to symptoms that can include feelings of nausea, throwing up large pieces of food, being full after only a few bites of food, and feeling bloated. Other symptoms include not feeling hungry, weight loss, a burning feeling in the chest called heartburn, acid flowing back into the throat called reflux, and stomach spasms and pain. Unfortunately, diabetic gastroparesis has no cure. It is a chronic lifelong condition. However, it can be managed. The most vital step is to manage your diabetes. This will help protect your stomach and other organs, improve your stomach function, and relieve your symptoms. Know your target blood sugar range. Have and follow a plan to keep your blood sugar in that target range as often as possible. In some cases, changes may need to be made to your diabetes medicines to help improve both blood sugar and gastric emptying. Taking medicines can also help. Certain medicines help the stomach empty more quickly. Some can also lessen symptoms, such as nausea. Your healthcare provider will help find the medicines that are best for you. Also, discuss a personalized meal plan with your provider. This plan includes foods that help improve digestion and reduce symptoms. It also helps ensure that you get the right nutrients and stay at a healthy weight. If you think you might have gastroparesis, talk with your healthcare provider. Together, you can create a plan to improve your condition and your health so you feel your best. To learn more, go to www.gastro.org slash gastroparesis.